guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog it is currently tuesday what is it it is currently tuesday and um it's a little bit later on in the afternoon but i felt like picking up my camera and vlogging the rest of my day i don't know i haven't put a video up in a really long time so i thought you know what i feel like vlogging let's pick up the camera and do a little bit of vlogging love my outfit today i've got this like bright pink and neon shirt on and then this cute little kmart set um and yeah archie and i are just about to head out over to the beach what have you got where did you get that from oh yeah we are just about to head on over to the beach it's like not overly hot and it's not too sunny so it's like quite nice to just go down to the beach i think archie's getting a little agitated i don't really want to turn the tv on for him right now so um, yeah, I thought we'd jump over to the beach. I thought I'd show you a better view of my outfit because I think it's really, really cute. I've just been in this like little set all day. Um, but I decided since we're going to the beach, I'll pop this pink shirt over the top because I think it looks cute. And this is somewhat see-through because it's just nip. Yeah. That's my outfit, and then I've just got my hair in a bun. I did do my makeup today, and then I got annoyed at it, so I just completely took it off, and now I have no makeup on. And then we've got some little earrings as well, and these are from Reliquia. I love these. What are you wearing? He's got a little top from Cotton On Kids. The pants are from Cotton On Kids. These are his beach shorts, because, yeah, we're going to head on over to the beach. Anyway... I am gonna go do that. I might take my camera with me, get a few cute shots, um, and I will talk to you guys when I get back. Explain to you guys where I've been, where my head's been at, what's been going on. Yeah. Go in there. Come on. The water. What do you think? I wasn't prepared for him to get right into the water like he has today. <laughs> I know. He never usually gets in this. Ooh, yucky, don't put that in your mouth. He never usually gets in the water this much, but he has today. You okay? So I didn't bring a towel down, so it's gonna be a quick run home after this. But it's so nice today, the water is so clear. And the water's super warm too. All right, so it is now the next day. We didn't do much after we came back from the beach yesterday. We, um, I came in, got Archie dressed and stuff because he just got completely soaked. He loved the water yesterday. Uh, and then we came home, did our nighttime routine, and then went to bed. I chilled out last night. I've been watching Teen Mum lately, and I've really been enjoying it. So that has kind of been, like, what I do after I've tidied up and put Archie down to bed. So that's what I did. We're in the same shirt as yesterday as well, because I love this shirt. I think it's so cute. Love the colour of it. I never wear colour, but I'm really liking it. So, yeah, but it's now Wednesday. Um, I've just finished doing a quick tidy up. Archie's gone down for his nap. I'm about to watch a little bit of YouTube and I might upload some footage onto my camera. I mean onto my laptop so I can um, edit a bit of it. Um, and yeah, this morning we um, went down to the shops. I had to get a couple of things. Um, and then we came back. I got a pie. It was the nicest pie I think I've ever had before. Maybe. It was like a chicken and cranberry one. So good. Um, and then, yeah we've just been chilling um i just finished tidying up the kitchen and just yeah having a little clean um but today ella and my mum get back ella and my mum went away just over a week ago and um they went down to my mum's section to do a little bit of work on it so they are on their way back now which is exciting um so i've had a lot of alone time over the past week and it's actually been quite nice so yeah, they are coming back. I haven't had a video up in a while. I just honestly haven't been in the right headspace lately. I've been, I have so much on my mind and so much to deal with at the moment. 
um, and just in regards with my life in general, um, to organise and sort out. So, like, that's all just stuck in my head and, like, it's kind of been playing with my head a little bit. So, um, yeah, I just haven't been in the right headspace to vlog, so I didn't. But, um, yeah, now I know I said I was going to do 365 days of vlogging. Clearly that's gone right out of the window. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. It's just too much at the moment. I'll try and get, like two to three videos up a week at this point. I think, I'm thinking that I'll do like two day vlogs. So I'll vlog a couple of days and then upload it instead of doing every day because it does get a lot. Props to those daily vloggers because that shit's hard. Especially if you have kids as well. Like how do you find the time? I guess I suppose like when you see family vloggers and stuff, one of them will edit, like they can both kind of edit, you know? Whereas it's just me who films and edits. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, I'll try and do like a couple of days here and there and then uplo upload it so that, um, and sometimes as well, I don't always have exciting things to vlog every day. I thought I was going to like moving and stuff like that, but a lot of the time it's just been the same thing day in, day out. So I haven't had like too much to vlog. Um, but yeah, hopefully I want to get out and do a few things this weekend. Maybe I really want to go to Butterfly Creek. If it's open, I'm not too sure if it's open at the moment, but it's like a big butterfly park kind of thing. It looks really cute. I'm absolutely terrified of butterflies, but I feel like that'll be fun for Archie. I think he'd enjoy that. So yeah, I want to get out and about in Auckland and see what's going on. Obviously, being COVID safe and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we have like the Omicron breakout here at the moment, and it's just going a little wild. So yeah, but it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to go and watch a little bit of YouTube. I need to put my um, camera on charge because it's flashing at me saying it's running out of battery. Um, but I will come back and talk to you guys a bit later on, show you guys what I get up to for the rest of the day. All right, hello. So it's a bit later on now. Um, I've just given Archie his lunch. He didn't have a very good nap. Um, he had about, I think maybe... Half an hour to 40 minutes worth of a nap and then he woke up crying and he was really upset I don't think he was feeling very well so we just had lots of cuddles chilled out on the couch and stuff like that but he seems to have come right now so he's just having his lunch and I thought while he's having his lunch I want to tackle his drawers he's got a big chest of drawers here um, yeah, he's got this chest of drawers here that I want to go through because everything's getting quite messy in it and I just want to organise it a little bit better so I thought we could do that now. I've got a, I think I'm just going to take everything out and um, just fold it all and reorganise it. to the beach yesterday and now there's like sand all through it it's making funny noises so that's not great but we've got a bunch of clothes here um i'm just gonna fold them all and then categorize them all and put them into back into the drawers um yeah let's just do it
am done. So I've just kind of categorized them a little bit better so they're not all like all of his clothes aren't just stuffed into the drawer and I can see exactly what he's got. So um, on the top one here I've just put t-shirts so we've got just like normal t-shirts and then these are like polo t-shirts with like a collar and then I've got singlets there. And then in this one here I've just put long sleeve tops. We don't really use these much at the moment because it's quite warm. Um, and then knits. This is one of my favourite pieces of clothing I bought for him. It's like a beautiful cable knit jumper. And I can't wait for him to wear it in winter. It's just it's adorable. It's from Seed. Um, and then we have this drawer here which has shorts. Which is probably like the only pants we wear at the moment. Because it's warm. So I've got like more dressy denim -y kind of shorts and then we've got like comfy at home shorts and then down here this one's a little bit stuffed but um we've got pants um these are mostly denim and then we've got like track pants here sweatpants comfy at home pants and then in this one here i put his pajamas and socks um so we've got onesies here these are more for winter and then we've got all of his short sleeve pajamas and i think i've got one um long sleeve pajama set down the bottom there and then his socks and then down here i've just put his togs and board shorts and then hats in this one um and then yeah that's it i took out his shirts and put them on his rack here this rack is from the warehouse i absolutely love it um it's just great for putting all his jumpers and stuff on. So I have all of his jumpers, his hoodies. Um, and yeah, I've recently put his shirts up here and taken them out of the drawers. Um, shirt, shirts, and then jackets as well. He's got a little, what are these called? Wetsuit. And then his big jumper as well. I moved the sheets out of the drawers as well. Those were in the bottom drawer down there. But they just take up room where I could fit extra clothes. So I've just put them there for now until we figure out like a linen cupboard situation he's got his little swimming thing down there and i've just put his shoes down there too those were kind of already down there um and then we have this little pile here of um clothes that are too small for him now so i'll pop those away in the suitcase um we have a little suitcase that has all of his like um old baby clothes or any clothes that i want to keep so i'm going to get rid of a couple of those well what I like to do is I put them all in the suitcase now anyway and then um when I'm ready to I'll go through it again and pick out things that I want to donate um because a lot of his clothes are like in really good condition so um yeah anything I don't want to keep I'll donate and then um I just chuck out the stuff that's no good so yeah I'm gonna put that in the suitcase I think I'll have to get, wait for Ola to get home to home tonight to fix or grab what am i talking about <laughs> i think i'll have to wait for ala to get home though to grab the suitcase down for me it's a little bit high and very short um so yeah i'm glad i got that done his like little area and clothes is all nice and set up now so i'm happy about that i need to get him a new bed i'm trying to decide whether i put him into a cot again or whether i move him to a toddler bed i just feel like he's not ready for a toddler bed but i also feel like he could be ready for a toddler bed soon like he'll just jump out of the toddler bed i feel like so i'm just up in ours at the moment so he's still in his porter cop which is not ideal and he is kind of outgrowing it so i don't know i just need to figure out what to do i mean if we get another cot I don't know, like how long is he going to be into it? For those of you who have kids, what age did your children outgrow their cot and when did you move them into a toddler bed? Because I just don't know what to do at the moment. But yeah, anyway, so happy I got that done. I've been meaning to do that for ages. So long, so that's great. 